Perfect. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about rewriting equations, okay? Now, when we want to rewrite an equation, um, at least for the next few chapters, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to solve for the letter Y. And you're usually going to see a question that looks like this. It says, solve the equation for Y. Now, what does that mean? We That means we want to find something that says Y equals, okay? So we want to solve. And so we want to solve, we want to find an answer. And then that answer is going to equal the letter Y. Now, how do we do that? Well, you guys know all of the steps. All we need to do is just put it all together. So step number one that we always want to do is make sure we rewrite the problem. Please try not to try to squeeze all your information inside of the problem. No, just rewrite it. You'll thank me later. I promise. So let's do that. We have 2Y plus 5X equals 6. Now, remember, we said we want to get an equation that looks like this, where it says y equals. Notice, y is all by itself. So we know how to do this. All we need to do is move some stuff, undo some stuff, and just get the equations ready to go. So let's try that out. Remember, we do have uh, two sides to this equation. y is already over here, so there's no point to move it. So remember, let's try to leave y for last. So that means all we have left over is this 5x. How do we do this? Well, let's just do the opposite of it. Let's undo it, all right? So let's do minus 5x, cross it off. Now, this is where you might run into a mistake and be like, well, you know, this is what we did the last time, and we're just going to do minus 5x. But I'm going to ask you a question really quick. Can you subtract 6 from 5x? Are they the same term? Do they have the same, you know, variables? They do not. So you cannot subtract 5x. So then where does this 5x go? Well, it just li it literally just goes right next to it. So we're just going to write minus 5x. Let's rewrite this problem and let's see if we can figure out what's going on. So let's drop down that 2y. We have 2y. Let's drop down that equal sign. Equals. Let's bring down that 6. And what did we just move over? right there minus 5x okay our last step remember we said we want to get y equals right so let's do that what what operation or what invisible operation is in between that 2 and that y well we know it's multiplication so all we need to do is do the opposite of multiplication let's divide by 2 let's cross that off and now when we divide by 2 we want to divide this whole whole thing by 2. So you can do it like this. You can, you know, draw your division sign and then divide by 2 or, which I think is a little bit easier for myself, is I'll do this. I'll divide that by 2 and then I'll divide this by 2. Remember, this goes with that, that negative sign. So now let's just simplify. All right, we got this y. Let's bring that down. Y. Let's bring down the equal sign. Well, let's solve. What is 6 divided by 2? Well, that's 3. And now, can we simplify this negative 5x over 2? We probably can. Uh, you might, people might put 2.5, but I honestly, if I can't, if it's simplified to the max in the fraction form, we'll just leave it like that. So minus 5 over 2x. Okay. Now, here's the last thing that I, I want you guys to um, to see. Now, this is going to make a lot more sense in the next few chapters, but this is what your equation should look like. All right. So I'm going to start right up here y equals, this is what we're going to get get to, y equals mx plus b, okay? Now, we want to have our x variable here, we want to have our y variable here, and then anything else over here. So all that means is I'm going to take this, I'm going to put it over here. So y, sorry, negative 5 over 2x, I'm going to put my y here, and then plus 3. So we want to have our equation look like this, okay? That was example. This is example number two. Now, this one it might be a little bit tricky, but the way to make sure it's not tricky and that it doesn't confuse you is to stay organized. If you stay organized with all of your information, it should be very easy for you to just follow all of the steps that we already know and then put them all together. So remember, rule number one is we always want to rewrite the problem. Well, let's see what the problem is asking us, first of all. It's saying solve the formula for the slant height L. We want to find what L is. Notice they even made the letter a little bit bold. So 
let me rewrite the problem and let's see if we can solve this. I have s equals pi r squared plus pi r. And I'm going to put this in a different color just so you know what I'm talking about. So it says we want to solve for that letter l r. Okay. So same rules that we've been doing so far. Let's just make sure we, we follow them. So we have two sides. Okay. Now, remember, we usually want to leave our variable less. That's what we're trying to leave less. So that means we want to get rid of this. How do we get rid of that? Right? We just want to undo it. Well, what's the, what's the opposite of a, well, that's a positive, right? Pi r squared is just a negative pi r squared. That's going to cross itself out. And now we're just going to bring it to the other side. Now, do I have a pi r squared on this side? No, I don't. So remember, you can't just be like, well, s minus pi r squared. You can't do that because they are not the same term. All right. So we're just going to put it right next to each other. So it's going to be s minus pi r squared. Let's bring the rest of it down. Plus pi r. Let's put that in the oh. All right. Now, all we want to do is we want to get that l by itself. Well, what operation is in between that pi r and the l? Well, it is multiplication, right? That's pi times the radius times your slant length. So we want to get rid of just that pi r. So what's the opposite of multiplying by pi r? Well, that's dividing by pi r. So we're going to divide by pi r, cross that off. And remember, whatever you do on one side, you got to do it to the other. So we're just going to divide this by pi r. So it looks like all we need to do now is rewrite our problem. We're going to bring down that L equals S minus pi r squared divided by pi r. If you follow the rules doing step by step, right, rewriting the problem every single time and crossing things out that you need to cross out, it'll be very easy to get to your final step and your final solution. All right. That was example number two. Perfect.